Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Monique's Jewels and my puppies are going to bark because they're lonely but um, it'll be okay. Anyway, I went ahead and finished that jewelry box yesterday. Um, it didn't take me very long really. I just took it completely apart like you would um, I had a friend that used to um, make, um, just, she reupholstered all kinds of stuff, and I just kind of took it upon myself to um, just take it apart. There we go. And it's done. So that turned out really well. Isn't that pretty? So that's the one I'll keep, since it's got my mommy's scarf in it. But, um, yeah, it was just so simple. You can just take it out. Um, and I'll have pictures from um, me redoing it just before this starts. Um, just kind of like that. It's kind of cool. And then I just put it back in and kind of pushed it down. And it worked very well. So you just kind of use whatever's left in that you take out as your um, pattern. And I used to sew as a kid. And my mom used to let me, you know, cut out the patterns and all that good stuff. So that is finished. And it does have her silk scarf in it. And this was the, <coughs> excuse me, this was the piece of porcelain um, trinket box I was talking about. And it's, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's choking, cha, ch anyway. So I'll read the back of it and it tells you about it. It's just Japanese porcelain. It says fine porcelain. C-H-O-K-I-O. -O. It says, The Art of Chokin, or Chalkin. It says, um, Metal Engraving from, Jap from Japan. Oh, that's hard to read. Wait a minute. Metal Engravings from Japan are created by the ancient art of Chokyo. Gilded with gold and silver the engravings were originally created to decorate the something of samurai warriors so that would have been the swords or I guess that's what it's saying I can't read it um, it says 24 karat gold trim made in Japan so why about this is because my mother um, or grandmother, I'm not sure which, had a little Christmas tree. And um, the bottom part is red, and it has like a little teddy bear and a tree, Christmas tree, shaped like a Christmas tree. And I had, don't tell him, but I had bought one to replace the one that my mother had. I can't find it. And I'm going to put some um, um, jewelry that I had from my dad in it. And there was a second one that was round, kind of the same thing. And I also purchased that. I just don't have it yet. And I thought that that would be a fun gift, um, a meaningful gift, not just something. And he's the type of person that he has everything. What what do you get someone like that? So, but I love this. This has got the fez, uh, the uh, peacocks on them. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's really, really pretty. Well, let me put these up. Um, this was very easy to do. Very simple to do. There was nothing hard about it. Um, I think if I ever get any more, I'll, get, I'll do some. I don't want to do it to the ones that I have for the um, silent auction because that takes away from the original you know, piece, and if someone else gets one and wants to redo it, hey, that would be fabulous, and then they can show us what they did. Okay, this video is $2 pieces, 
and then we'll take a break and then I have a couple four dollar pieces but everything is two dollars I do have some groupings of rings I have two little um, brooches two pair groups of earrings they're all two dollars so I won't keep saying it over and over again okay alright so we're gonna get started here let's see what are we on right at the moment about five minutes so this will be two parts but I'm gonna try to go through it quickly I won't go into real super detail on these pieces so alright we have the first piece I just grabbed is this bracelet stretches and closes stretches and buttons okay and it is measuring at about seven and a quarter okay here we go don't forget everything's two dollars and I'm not gonna say it this is a choker boy that'd be pretty for Christmas or New Year's um, this is right at well, I don't know what this is. Let me see. This has got to be... I don't know what this is. It's only 10 inches. It can't be a choker. Okay, we're going to say this is a bracelet. And just leave it at that. And this is a freebie because it's not long enough to be... Yeah, it's only 10 inches. That's a freebie. If someone buys something, they can request it. The first person to re request it will get it. Now, this is a choker. No, this is a bracelet. Gosh, you guys. This is weird. Okay, this is a bracelet. Yep, it is. Okay. You just never know. And it's a little bit bigger. It's nice. I like that. That's kind of a... Um, couture design there. Uh, it's not, but it's very pretty. It's leather. It is, let's see, about 15 inches, so it'd go around twice. It's a little big on me. And it's got a little leather distress, but not much. I think that came from this piece. That came from right here, but otherwise I think it's fine. So, we know how much that is. Okay, we have another piece here. And it is the little piece that stretches. And I think this is a tag. Maybe that's, yeah, that's a tag. I didn't even look at it. But this is cute. I like that. Okay, we're going to keep going. This is plastic beaded. With the brown ribbon and it's cute. I kind of like that. You could always add a chain to it but I like it. I think it's cute. This is just the bottom part is 12 and then these um, ribbons are 12 inches so you've got quite a bit of play probably 24 inches total but the colors are beautiful. That coral color I gotta watch what I'm doing so I can make sure I get everything in to the um, view. Okay, this is pretty. This has a VB on it. I'm not real sure. I don't think it's Vera Bradley, but it's a beautiful piece. The pendant is very, very pretty. It's the same little design on both sides. Um, it's almost paisley, but not. It could be the bottom part of a paisley piece and this blue is very pretty and it is let's see about 15 inches okay we've got a bracelet this is really pretty this is a magnet this is fun it's a magnet it's got those pretty little bars little bar stations a little bigger that's lovely. I like that. Okay. And it's leather. And it's got a magnet. And it is, let's see, right at seven inches. Okay. 
Okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay, we have this pretty. Oh, I like this one. This has got faux pearls, and it's got the little gold um, chain on it that looks like the little razor blade. Super duper long. It's got a really nice clasp on it. It's not precious metal. It's just really pretty. I like it. Okay, it is probably 36 inches total. So there's that one. This is a Chico's look-alike. It is very pretty. This is lovely. It's a little um, kind of um, modernistic looking, um, kind of boho, but it's really pretty. It's a nice piece. It's not all scratched up. I think it's just got that weathered look. And it's got the magnet clasp. But it's so cool because it goes in and then it twists. So it won't come off. Even if the magnet's not working well. Okay, next. We have a leather bangle here. And it is pretty nice. It's silver tone. It actually has, um, it's kind of a double piece here. Um, yeah, it looks good. It looks really nice. So you've got kind of the brown and the silver. And then you've got a little bit of wear there, but not much. And it goes from a 7 to an 8. That's nice. Okay, this is the big long one. It's really pretty. It's got stations of a, a crystal. This one says Faith, Hope, and Love. And I do believe this is absolutely real leather. And then you've got the crystal. Isn't that pretty? Then you have the gold tone here. And it wraps however many times you want to wrap it and it goes up and in up here and then down that neat that's your that's your class right there okay and it is super long it is probably 34 inches but it wraps as many times as you want to wrap it this is cute this is like that um, divining rod or whatever it comes down to a point. And I just thought it was interesting. Isn't that cool? And then you've got like the ID bracelet type of um, necklace there. Okay, next we have... This is a Chico's. Let me show you the tag. Chico's brand, and it's really pretty. It's got kind of a tarnished look to it, but it's that way all over, and even on the inside. I like it. I like it. It's very interesting. So that's the Chico's. This is a corded older piece. Isn't that pretty? And then we have these ceramic beads that are just beautiful. And it is 16 inches. Okay, this is... Oh, this is pretty. This is a much older looking style. This is like got the serpentine, older serpentine chain. This has got the little etched metal there with a tiny crystal. But it looks brand new. It's got a really nice... Um, silver tone look to it. It's really pretty. And this one is 22 inches. Very pretty. Let me get that out of the way. Let me push, push. Okay. We'll do this one and then stop and then we'll start on the new one. Okay. We have this pendant. It is gold tone with orange, yellow, and black beads that are, um, they're kind of like crystals. They're not really beads, but they're raised. 
And we have this beautiful um, floret design. That's the back. It's, it's not plastic, it's actually metal. Um, it's really pretty. And this is the one that has the um, has a jewelry tag with nothing on it. And then we have the um, string that is brown and tan. And then we have um, the pretty beads. This is approximately 16 inches. And there we go. And I have a visitor, so I'm going to stop for a minute and I'll get right back with you with part two. Thank you.